Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Unstoppable. My name is Ralph Graves Jr. So glad to have you here. Guys, this episode is, is exciting for me and to me, and I wanted to be a, a little different and do a little different. This is our 52nd podcast, a 52nd. So that means, you know, 52 weeks. I've been doing this for a year. Like two years ago, I had no idea I'd be doing this, but here we are, 52 weeks in. And I brought on my manager, my producer, my friend, Seth Silvers, and, and I just want to we're just going to talk. We're going to chop it up, man. We're going to talk about the year's highlights, man, and some of the guests, and they will talk about uh, some of the ideas. I I stretch Seth. I, I I have him. I tell him where I want to go, and he makes me he makes sure I get there. So, Seth, welcome to the program. Thanks, man. It's good to be on this side of the mic. And yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem, in some ways, it doesn't seem like it was a year ago that we started the show. A and, year, uh, man. Also, it seems like we've been doing it for a while, but. Yeah, I remember yeah. us having a conversation about a year ago and, uh, you know, kind of early days of the COVID pandemic. And it was very much, hey, what can we do? You know, what can we yeah. be doing to like to, you know, expand this platform and help other people live unstoppable lives? And, um, you know, we knew that, you know, we got it. We got to get the podcast going. We got to get some of these stories out there. So it's been a fun year. And we've we've gotten to hear a lot of amazing stories of people that are doing pretty incredible things. Yeah, it's been a journey, man. I mean, it's it's been a journey. I can't even remember who our first guest was. I probably should have that list out in front of me, but it's it's been a journey. We've talked to some. Uh, I, I had a chance to talk to some amazing people. Um, yeah, who who, who stands who, out? Like just off the top of your head, like well, this is, if, the, if you're listening and you're a guest, and we don't mention you. <laughs> It's not because we didn't like your episode, but like we, we didn't been, prep for this. We didn't write down names. Like I wanted this to just be like, what comes to mind from the last year of episode? I almost want you, I almost want you to pull up who the first guest was, but anyway, I'm working um, on it. It, um, man, it was, it's 52 guests. All of them have changed my life. Um, I gotta, I gotta mention Amy Martinez. Mm -hmm. That was something else. Her story. Yeah. And Amy wasn't, um, Amy's not famous. No, uh, but I'll tell you, I'll talk about her right now. That's one of our most downloaded episodes. And for those wow. that haven't listened to it, uh, what do you give us a little context for her story? Oh man, Amy was a, a young lady out there and and uh, had uh, gotten pregnant and didn't know she was pregnant, and um, goes to the doctor for one thing, finds out she's pregnant, and they tried to convince her to abort the baby and then you'll have to listen to the rest of it but <laughs> it's an amazing story mm -hmm. an amazing story of being unstoppable and and uh the story of faith and a story of i'm going forward with it i'm i'm going to be who i'm supposed to be and uh just i'm at part of the story she talked about she was out there alone like no one understood her she was away from family and whatnot great story great story yeah yeah so i'm i'm looking at it and our, our first guests were uh Shani and Shay Harris. Yeah, yeah, actresses, phenomenal women, phenomenal women. Matter of fact, I just saw them on the um, Drew Barrymore show. No way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's I amazing. just saw them on the Drew Barrymore show a little while ago. Did they, so. did they give you credit? Did they say, "Hey, we got started on Unstoppable"? No, nobody, nobody does that. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, we've talked. Yeah, we've talked to actors. We've talked to coaches. We've talked to you know, some comedians, um, you know, those first couple of months, we, we had some doctors on the show, um, yeah. and some nurses yeah. talking, you know, about some of the timely issues with, well, that's when COVID first hit. Yeah. 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 I mean, it really is our first, our first episode, you know, that was June. Um, yeah. and so, yeah, what were some of the conversations, you know, during this pandemic, uh, that's been going on for the last year and a half or so, well, not only just and, and not only just the pandemic, and I'm, I'm going to answer that question. Yeah. But remember, we were podcasting through the George Floyd. We we're yep. podcasting through all of the racial tension. We talked about that, man. It's it's a good year for podcasting. <laughs> yeah, it's been. And, and that's the thing is there's always going to be things that are happening. There's always going to be busy things. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. an election year. Um, yeah, it's been busy. But what do you feel like you walked away with for uh, as far as like living unstoppable through I would say that it's safe to say our last 18 months was a little bit more tumultuous and yeah. eventful than a normal 18 month period. Yeah. I think what I walked away from is that um, everybody is going through something. 
I don't care what color you are. I don't, I don't care about your financial status. Your your color. Everybody is going through something, and it takes something on the inside. It, it you you have to have a drive or a motivating factor. You need something. You have to have this faith. And and guys listening, is no no uh, shame to my game. You know I'm a believer. You know I'm a Christian, and um, and I believe even without saying it, I might have been talking to a bunch of some non Christians as well. But they had an inner faith and an inner drive that pushes them through boundaries that would have stopped um, ordinary people. And I, I think that, I think all of us have it, but the 52 people I talk to, they just really push through it. And so if you're listening today, you can push through whatever is coming your way. You can really get at it. Yeah. What about you? Like, how did you push through some of those things in the last year? Oh man, like I said, man, my faith in Christ, um, remembering that again, everybody's going through something just because I don't, just because I don't share the perspective of someone else doesn't mean their perspective is wrong. Yeah. Um, people feel the way they they feel. I learned that you don't, you have to move past always wanting to be right mm -hmm. and find some sort of common ground. Because listen, at the end of the day, we are all working for what? Water, food, and shelter <laughs> and yeah. safety at the end of the day. And so no matter what, what my perspective, and, I, and I, I'll tell you what I've learned, excuse my dog bark. And of course he's going to bark on the 52nd episode. I've learned that um, um, no matter where you're from or, or no matter what the perspective or, or that, that you have to understand that people feel the way they feel. Mm -hmm. You can't change anybody. Can't change anybody. And, and, and so, you know, I've learned some things like that. I've, I've learned so many things. I've talked to people that I probably would have never ordinarily talked to. Right. Because. Yeah. And, this, yeah, you know, and I mean, what you're saying with, even with this last year, I think when I'm just thinking about like, what does it mean to be unstoppable? What does it mean to um, go through life? And what we see in our audience is usually our people in our audience, like they've been like, life hasn't been handed to them on a silver spoon. No, um, no, they've usually, no. you know, they, they've gone through some trials, they've had some hardships, but they're, they have a resolve to not give yeah. up. And yeah. I think one of the things that's so important in being unstoppable and having that resolve is being able to sit aside somebody who believes totally different than you and still have a conversation, still yeah. be related, still be yeah. friends and realize, Hey, you could look at, you know, you could look at this election totally differently than me. You could look at vaccines. You could look at social justice, totally different than me, but we need to be able to have dialogue. And right. I think that's something that stood out in the last year and through some of the conversations with our guests yeah. is just the importance of, um, I don't, I don't want to say not being stubborn, but realizing the it's important to stand your ground in what you believe, but also being willing to have conversations where the only goal is not to win the conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think we saw that a lot in the last year. Yeah. I'm going to tell you who else was, was totally remarkable. Oh my goodness. I can't call her name. You're going, maybe you can look it up. There's so many, she's from Morocco, but she's in France, but she was born and raised in Morocco and lived through a war got out got out of Morocco and we we really got to talking about um this is when I really was able to, to tap in our minds into our minds. Was this a uh, Maureen? Maureen yeah, Maureen. Maureen Moangi. Yeah, no, no, it's not Maureen. Maureen Moranga, she she had a business. Okay. She, she, she came over from Africa. Another phenomenal story. Listen to that one. <laughs> Listen to that one too. I mean, it's just so many. It's so yeah. many, but I'm talking to people who survived war and, and hel helicopter crashes and uh, being kidnapped. Jennifer, just, you know, being kidnapped and almost sold into the sex trade, slave, sex slave trade. And so he, we, we also talked quite a bit about money and we're going to continue to talk quite a bit about money. We have to talk about money. Um, so, so talk to me about like when we're thinking about being unstoppable, yeah. um, you know, we talked to Shay Bynes, the kingdom driven entrepreneur. We talked to the budget Queens. We talked yeah. to Eileen Slotko about financial freedom. Like when Great we get movie. into like money mindset, a lot of our audience, they want, you know, we want to have financial Freedom, abundance yeah. like we want to be financially empowered what yeah. are some of the keys to really like the finance side of this the wealth side of being unstoppable well one thing that eileen taught me is that a lot of our spending habits and a lot of the way we spend money is because what we've seen 
and and uh, even in our you know through our parents or what we've seen other people do it and and we really have to break that cycle and and understand that you know um, saving is where it's at uh, uh, that money provides freedom and options we have to change the way we look at it it's not so much how much you make it's really what you do with it uh, that that determines your level of able to be uh, being unstoppable and, and really to be unstoppable you have to master your money the budget queens episode was phenomenal you have you cannot let your money master you man you have to master your money and, it, and it's part of, i know we all like you said we all want to be wealthy you know mm-hmm. think about it i'll tell you one thing these these ladies that i talked to about those finances when we laughed and we talked about it i thought about it i mean really I've been a millionaire a few times. That's how much money's passed through my hands. I just didn't keep any of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are, are there some things that you're doing different money-wise today or you're thinking about differently money-wise today than maybe you oh, were a year or two oh, ago? Yeah, yeah, definitely. De- definitely. After talking to you, man, I'm saving. Um, I'm, I'm learning to say I, I really don't need that. Um, I, I'm learning to invest properly. I'm understanding what growing it looks like. And the budget queens have me putting money in an envelope and not touching it. Like I never thought about, you know, it sounds corny, but then you look back and like all of a sudden I got nine grand sitting there. I didn't even know it was, I didn't even know it was there, but mm-hmm. you know, so it's, 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 and then, and now when I'm talking to Eileen, Eileen taught us something called in her episode, the power of nines. You don't go spend that nine grand. You put it here and let it multiply itself even more. Mm-hmm. You know, so those are the things that I was able to do differently. Yeah. Yeah, And I mean, another thing, this was a, I mean, this was a big year for you because you lost your father. Yeah. And, you know, we had an episode with Travis Macy. uh, We talked about his journey with his father, but then we also, you know, talked, uh, some of our most popular episodes were with Elizabeth Kristoff, just talking about trauma and talking about hardship and how that affects us. How, how, like, share a little bit about kind of that journey with you and even how some of these conversations maybe helped you through that, through that period for your, your your life. Oh man, it it helped a lot. Here's the thing about the trauma, about losing a loved one, especially my father. And um, I believe Travis Macy's father is still here. Thank God. But they kind of suffered with the same thing. You, you watch Parkinson's start to, you know, I I watched Parkinson's and and, and, uh, um, diabetes just kind of take over my dad and caught really caused his decline. That's traumatic in and of itself. That so the trauma is before the transition. <laughs> the tra- the transition is like, wow, you know, I'm glad he's not suffering, but I wish he was here. So, but but you know, um you don't ignore it. You you unstoppable people realize it. Unstoppable people begin to, you know, you see your own and in, in sight sometimes. And so make preparations for you and your family. And so, you know, talking our way through that, man, again, everybody's hurting, everybody's experienced some trauma, everybody has lost the loved one. And being able to talk with people through that, it's, I'm telling you what, hosting a podcast has been therapeutic. Hmm. It's therapy. It's therapy. And I, we've talked to therapists too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, I I mean that's that's what happens. Like I feel like hosting a podcast you you learn a lot. Um and it's I mean it's a great way to just be learning from other people. Um You know who taught me a lot too? Yeah. Jeremy Kubitschek. Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. that you really enjoyed that one. Tell yeah, us tell us a little bit about that one. That's with Giant, his company Giant and and I And I Jeremy up- Jeremy and his team like Jeremy is one of the ones behind the um like I mean he's kind of helped plan and helped lead some of the biggest leadership conferences in the country. Yeah. yeah. So, so like th- this guy's a- real, real connected. And I mean, he's, he's led conferences with, you know, thousands of leaders and the best speakers in the country. So he's, he knows what he's talking about. Says, so line him up again. I want to talk to him again. Um, that'd be great. He really had me, he has this assessment and any leadership conference you've been to and any material they've produced Nine times out of 10, it came out of Jeremy and his team. And he really taught me the uh, value of really measuring where you are. Who are you as a leader? What's your person? He, he taught us the value of really measuring your team. And you you take these assessments, you know, oh, this is foolish. It's not foolish. And these things work. What's the name of that personality test you and I were, were joking about a little while ago? An anagram or something like that? Enneagram. Yeah. yeah. You know, these things work. Yeah. And so you, I mean, really 
you have to know who you are. You know, who are you? Where where are you? And and you know, so Jeremy really brought that to 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 the surface. You know, yeah, I learned a lot from him. Yeah, and I mean, his they continue to have amazing resources for for coaches, and that's something that if you want to get plugged in with with yeah. Giant and some of the resources, uh, reach out reach out to Ralph, and we can get you connected with them because they they have yeah. a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. you know what else was good too? I'm, I'm yeah. rattling off now. Elizabeth Kristoff, her and I actually became pretty good friends. Her and I pretty. She taught me more about um, the central nervous system than I've ever cared to know. Yeah, like, tell, I, tell me a little bit about that. I, I'm healthier for it. I mean, she, you know, we, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a workout junkie, and she talked about the dangers of. She said, "Get outside and walk." She really broke down why the treadmill is no good. Now, it, it may be good cardiovascularly, but your legs are moving. Your leg is telling your brains we're moving, and your eyes are telling your brain, "No, we're not." And it's just throwing your nervous system off. So you you might, you know, I've lowered my heart rate. I lost some weight. But your your whole, your central nervous system is the most important thing happening in your body with immunity and everything right. else. So she really taught, her, taught me that. And, and she really taught, you listen to the podcast, she'll teach you a few strategies on, on how to pause and take a break. We got into right breathing. We, we got, and, and I'm telling you what, my quality of life has improved physically even mentally hmm. after that episode. <laughs> so. Yeah. And it, it's funny because we're talking about all these things and so many of them are internal adjustments. There yeah. are things that we can work on for ourselves. And when we look at, you know, the dreams we have, the goals we have, when people think about, you know, what do you want to achieve in life? We often rattle off these, all these tangible things. You know, we might say, I want to make $5 million or, you know, I want this job mm -hmm. or we rattle off all these things. Yet when we, over the last year, have looked into what does it mean to be unstoppable? What comes up is, uh, you know, you got to work on yourself. You know, you got to yeah. put the oxygen mask on yourself and then you'll, you know, that, that'll, you know, go towards other people. And so um, that is something that's really interesting is, we're talking about achieving more in our life. We're talking about, yes, gaining more, whether it's resources or opportunities or abundance and different things. But that comes by aligning our nervous system and understanding yeah. trauma yeah. and understanding, you know, the mindset behind what do you yeah. think about when you think about money? So it's, wow. it's interesting that there's all, it, it kind of comes to all these internal things. It does. I mean, she, she told, taught, you know, taught me about cortisol levels and constantly being under stress and, yeah. And what that does, and, and 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 you know, cancer can begin just an inflammation of me constantly being under stress, man. And it was just it got, go listen to the episode. Another, we were talking to people. I was talking to people who beat cancer without chemotherapy. Some yeah. with, but some without. Yeah. Who are thriving because of 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 the adjustments? These are unstoppable people. Yeah, I mean, Tim, Tim James, James, Jennifer Wallace. Tim James, Jennifer Wallace comes to mind. Tim James comes to mind. Tim James from a neighborhood or from a, a town, everybody's dying of stomach cancer. He says, it's not going to happen to me. He goes to Florida. He sits with this, this group. He said, it was thought it was all hocus pocus, mumbo jumbo. Decided to try it for himself and heals himself hmm. naturally. You know, that episode was so good that Tim James um, has me scheduling a hydrocolonic. <laughs> that's, how, that's how good that episode was, man. You know, yeah, it's got to be good to get you to want to do something like that. Yeah, I'm just like, you know, it was that good. But you're talking to real life people. That's yeah. who we're talking to on Unstoppable Podcast. And, that, and a know, lot of, I mean, a lot of the guests are people maybe haven't heard of and that's, and that's okay. That's kind of sometimes by intent, you know, yeah. we don't just want to line up all these A-list guests that, you know, are real famous because we want people to see that there's unstoppable people all around and that even in your life, there's areas where you're living to be unstoppable. So yeah. Um, yeah. let's, let's like look forward. What are you sure. looking forward to for the next year? What are some of the topics or conversations that we're going to be maybe focusing a little bit more on and having having more guests to go deeper into? You know, I, I one of the guests that I'm really excited about and uh, we confirmed was um, author Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, and um, 
And if you haven't heard of him, and I hope you listen to the episode, um, he's a phenomenal guy. He actually wrote a book that was really um, launched me into where I, after, after the Holy Bible, one of his books that he written uh, changed my life. And we have him on, so I'm excited about that because if I would, if, you know, I'm an author, and of course you aspire to be like other authors. I honestly, totally aspire to be like him. I'm going to say this on this podcast, and I'm, I, you know, you you you're, you're normally asked who are the top five people you want to talk to, and I get a chance to talk to one of my in the top five. That's awesome for me. So, you know, and uh, next we'll we'll try to get. Malcolm Gladwell, write that down for me. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) And what are some what are some of like the topics that you, uh, in this journey of people becoming unstoppable, that over this next year you see us really focusing on? Um, just their 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 habits, their principles, what did they do? Either success leaves clues. Mm -hmm. It's it's no secret. Success leaves clues. So I want to talk about some of their habits, some of their principles, some of their core values. What do they live by? You know, it, it leaves clues. And right. and um, and I just want to share that to my listening audience, share that with my listening audience. I really do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then um, I think this is a good time to talk about the other project we're working on. The Unstoppable Gulf Stream Way? Which well, the one? other one, the book. The book. Book, number, <laughs> book. Book number two is in the works. We're working yeah, on it. Yeah, book number two is in the works. And it, and it, you know, what happens when you have a dream and it and it dies? So um, we, we want to talk about, you know, where the dream came from. We're going to talk about, you know, what is the ultimate dream? So we're working on that. And, and, um, and it's really, I, I like working on it because it's really stirring up some things in me. Mm-hmm. And um, you guys will see that. You guys will see that um, during the course of uh, when, when the end of the year, maybe. So just look I think, Yeah, prob- probably early, uh, early 2022. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be. That's going to be great. Um, and we just lost your video, Ralph. I know. It says Zoom is unable to detect video. I don't know what that is. So. Uh, weird. Oh, well. More yeah, more, more, more here, technical man. challenges for episode 52. But we're unstoppable. Yep. Not going to stop. You know, whenever we get challenges, that means it's really blessed somebody. Yeah. We have yeah. dogs barking, phones ringing, the camera now went out. The enemy... Is, is trying to stop this from getting out over the airways and blessing somebody, yeah. but we're unstoppable, man. I'm unstoppable. It'll get there. I love it. And uh, tell people a little bit about, you know, kind of the coaching that you offer. We don't talk about this a ton on the podcast, yeah. Yeah. but you do coaching with people. You actually help uh, yeah. work with people and kind of help them go along their journey of becoming unstoppable. What does yeah. that look like for anybody in the audience that, that is interested? Well, first thing, if you haven't picked up my book, I want to encourage you to go to uh, ralphgravesjr.com, wherever you buy fine book, fine books are sold, and um, get a copy of my book called Unstoppable. And uh, on my website, there's something called the Unstoppable Community. Post videos weekly, and there's some questions and answers, there's some journals. If you have a question for me, um, uh, I answer the question. You can actually schedule a half hour phone call with me through that. Then uh, there's something called the Gulfstream Way. The Gulfstream Way is for, you know, if you want to go a little bit deeper than just being part of that unstoppable community, it's about $10 a month through through the website portal. But if you want to go a little bit deeper with the Gulfstream Way and really want to get into some executive leadership and spend some quality time together and and uh, and ask, ask or answer the tough questions and move you into a whole different frame of mind. So all those things are available through the website. And um, so, you know, that's what I love doing. That's what I, I want to see you become your best. I I, I, I want to see men and women reach their full potential. I really do. I've been the black sheep, or at least I thought I was the black sheep of the family. If you don't know my story, unwed father. Um, I could say I was a teen father. She was pregnant when I was 19. And, and we had our first baby at 20. I was 20. She was 18. You know, um, I've been on welfare. I've rode the back of the track. All this was before I became a police officer. I was in this, So I know what it is to struggle and make it. But the key was I never stopped. Mm-hmm. I never stopped. I, I come from, I don't come from a, I come from a pretty affluent family as far as reputation. They didn't give me anything. You know, I, I don't have a sad story. You know, I, I felt like I, I made my parents ashamed of me, but I just kept pushing and I kept going. And uh, here we are today. And I, I want that to be your story that no matter what came your way, sure, m- mistakes might've been made. You might've made a mess out of things, but we don't look at the past. We have a hope for the future and we we're unstoppable. And we press to that. 
Yeah. And I think, I think that's huge. I think that's, uh, you know, critical for people to realize and just kind of have that resolute decision of I'm going to be unstoppable. And so again, this, this episode is kind of just meant to be a reflection and a thank you to the audience. Yeah. Uh, thank you for yeah. joining us for the last year. And, uh, we're looking forward to another year and, and our commitment, you know, we are, we already have some amazing guests lined up and we're going to, you know, continue to bring better and better stories that help you to live an unstoppable life. So uh, Ralph, what would your closing closing words to your audience be? I want to say this to you all. Thank you. Thank you for 52 weeks. Thank you for a year. You could be listening to anybody, but you chose to listen to Unstoppable. And, and let me, and I, if, if you feel as though that you have a story that might bless somebody's life, reach out, contact me, send mm-hmm. me an email. Uh, Seth will pick it up. You have a, a conversation and we'd love to get you on the podcast um, for 30 minutes, 40 minutes to tell your unstoppable story as well. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Just head to uh, ralphgravesjr.com and you can fill out a form there and we'll, we'll get in touch with you. So yeah, um, yeah. Ralph, it's, it's, fun to, it's fun to hit pause and just look back on the year. It is, man. It is. And I'm excited about the year to come. I'm excited about going, you know, keep going harder and faster and, and, and keep being unstoppable, man, and being unstoppable with this wonderful audience. I really am, you know, but guys, thank you for listening today. Thank you for being part of it. Share this podcast with somebody. Go to my website. Uh, I'd love you to become part of the Unstoppable community. Thanks, Seth. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you.